Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope we're all doing well. We are back in ESO. And initially I wanted to do either Skyrim or ESO, or Oblivion for that matter. Um, because I work in the morning, um, I thought, you know what, why not I do ESO for a little bit and just leave it at that. So, um, yeah. Let's go Look talk to this person right over here and start our adventures in Shadowfen because Well you are a blue reed and yellow peat. From out of town, yes. Yes. You're in luck, Blue Reed. Gold runs dry on long journeys. But I've got just the thing to moisten your purse. What are you asking exactly? Mercenaries, Royal Storm holds waters for no good reason. They move amongst my people, swaggering and taking what they will. Strange they never bother the Dark Elves, yes? None here lift a claw to stop them. But you aren't from here, and I have gold. What do you want me to do? Encourage them to leave, Blue Reed. How you do it is your concern. Then I fill your purse, yes? Perhaps you should pretend to consider a purchase. Or perhaps you should consider a purchase, hmm? Such prices, unheard of in all of Stormhold. I'll take, I'll talk to the mercenaries. The mercenaries only make things worse with the Dark Elves. Better if Stormhold is one happy family. And if you plan to start a family, might I suggest a vial of powdered Kaguti horn for heightened potency? No? You're lost. An antique map. Oh, this allows you to use Gauk. Let me get a few, uh, a few of these. I do what I'm paid to do. We've got to earn a living. How much coin coin do they pay pay you for to to harass Argonians? I don't bully innocent folk. Not for the pittance I'm paid. But you're right. This isn't what I signed up for. You. <laughs> Have we met? No. Then walk the other way. about that my third fight of the day with a milk drinking fool oh really shit had to warn him Last time I Ancient talked to that. I wouldn't say that too loud. Shadow scales have a lot of things in these parts. Want to see my knife? Then keep talking. I was thinking the same thing about your teeth. Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
You're the one. Seems we need to have a chat about Doubts the Moon. Where is he? Said he stirred up trouble with some mercs and had to leave town. Asked Duskale to take over his shop permanently. Mentioned you too. Said he'd pay you extra for your silence. Said you are smart enough to take a hint. Hmm. Okay then. That guy swindled me. <laughs> There's one other quest that I want to take on. Um, and this will kind of take a while, so... Oh, what have I done? If I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. No more drinking. My head's splitting. My mouth feels like a kagoody nested in it, and I'm in serious trouble. I don't suppose you'd care to help out a down-on-her-luck chef, would you? How can I help? Go back in time and cut out my tongue. No, then I wouldn't be able to taste my wonderful cooking. Last night, I made a terrible bet with a hunter friend of mine, Vinaza. I told him cooking was art and hunting was peasant's work. He took offense. Tell me about this bet. I boasted I'd hunt Shadowfen, collecting ingredients from exotic animals. An Aelit's heart, a Kaguti's ribs, eggs of a giant wasp, and delicious mud crab claw meat. I'd meet him in Hismir and prepare a feast to prove it. But I can't hunt. Uh, I'll hunt these creatures and meet you in Hismir. That's one of the problems. I know you can find these beasts all over Shadowfen, but I don't know where. And I'd get killed if I went roaming around the swamps. You'll... you'll have to ask Vinaza, but don't let him know I sent you. How do I do that? Just appeal to his vanity. The old lizard's pride got me into this. I don't see why it shouldn't get me out, too. He's probably just outside the city hunting, that's what he does all the time. Thinks he's the greatest gamesman in Shadowfen. By the way, what are the terms of your bet? Don't ask. What I have to do if I lose, oh, it doesn't bear thinking upon. Just know that if I lose this bet, I'll have to stay drunk for the rest of my life to live down the shame. This guar gives its life so we may have meat. Now I give you my time. Why? I need help with my hunting. I was told to talk to you. Oh? Do the winds speak my name? Or the birds? Or is there perhaps someone else who told you to speak with me? My adroitnosity is known throughout the fen, of course. But it whispers only to its creatures. And me, of course. Cook named Ingwe. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Um, she told me not to tell you. What? Ah, the rivers grow torrentious stories of her perfectudinousness. Let me that guess. Even a word? <laughs> She's asked you to hunt for her, fearing to brave the fen <laughs> she word. so easily mocked while in her cups. Go ahead. Ask your questions. I will deal with her later. I need to know where to hunt the creatures of Shadowfen. The Fen speak to me readily about their bountinosity of beasts. Please, ask me about any of these and I will stipendify you with my knowledge. But know that most beasts of the Fens can be found anywhere, if you are wise enough to find them. Tell me about the giant wasp. Interesting, but deadly insects. They can be found singly or in swarms. Beware the Wasp Queen. 
She has a mighty sting and is often protected by her lesser drones. Wasps dwell mostly in the venomous fens, the southernmost region of Shadowfen. What can you teach me about mud crabs? Mud crabs live all over the world, but the sweetest of the hardback beasts live here, in reticulated spine. The foul-tempered creatures can be found all along the northern region of Shadowfen. I'd like to know more about the Eelit. Larger and more deadly predators than the Kaguti, Eilid hunt the venomous fens along the southern edge of Shadowfen. Be careful. These beasts carry a disease called ataxia. You'll find yourself staggering and weak if you let them bite you. What about the Kaguti? They are two-legged predators, more aggressive than Guar, and similar in some way to Eilid's. They eat anything they can fit in their large mouths. To hunt them, search the central regions of Shadowfen in leaf water. Okay. Alright. So there's three here. What crap? Pawns. Might as well. not responding to my controller. Might as well grab this way, Sharn, while I'm here. Now, the few times that I have been in shot, I don't know what it is about, like, certain areas of ESO that just causes my computer. And it's always when I'm live streaming, too. It's like, I don't have an issue when, like, sometimes I get, like, the occasional crash, right? Uh, with ESO, but when I'm recording and when I'm, you know, just playing the game and not live streaming, it Dark tends to crash my game. I do, well, 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 also just live streaming in general, but hey. It's always when uh, I'm live streaming. So I, I just didn't have to live stream. Until I get a better PC and possibly better internet, um, I will not be live streaming anytime soon. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but I can't... Uh, need to preserve my PC for as long as I can until I can find a better... Until I can build a better one. Until that day. Actually. Sanction killers on the Any words on your friends? Nothing. They've kept the more. Fuck's sakes. What crap me was over there? Really? Convenient. Wreck my crab.
Yeah, I like streaming. I don't get me wrong. I love streaming. But it's just that, unfortunately, my just just my computer just is like saying nope. Nope, for the most part. and deal with a few little kabooties. Shit. Yeah, this is why I hate Shadowfin, because it's like this creature's all over the fucking place, man. I hate it. <laughs> Absolutely hate it. Can't really do anything. Killing those dry skin fools. I erect the spine of gratitude. I can help. There are vampires in here. Shit. <laughs> no, oh, fucker. Kill four foe. Kill four dangerous foes, and apparently the gargoyle is one of them. Oh, what the fuck? See you there, sir. This is an event shift. Fuck me, dude.
Okay, I'm not dealing with you. Meaty Marble is almost leveled up. Yay. Someone has already been here. Soul. Hey, you know what? Eight people with tons of fucking damage. I want her. It is the right and duty of all sentient beings to be ma masters of their own fate to live or die according to their own wishes slavery is a foul practice that takes this choice from those bound under its terrible yoke transferring their decision making capacity to their owner to the owner this is neither fair nor right it should be resisted as violently as possible everywhere and at all times, anyone who stands idly by and lets another to be, be and another be enslaved is no better than the one one who cracks the whip. For generations, the dark elves enslaved my people. Some suffering from ha hatching, hatching to grave on, under elven control. During this time, the Nords did nothing to help us. S the so-called Pact has not. Re redressed these past offenses instead we've been told to be happy we are no longer slaves we've been told recompense is out of the question but even a guar will bite a kicked it bite if kicked long enough if the pact will not help us get what we want what we deserve for our generations of suffering others will help us the, the Varakun see power of their for their master, seek power for their master, but also grant pow power to to those who who serve them, through their 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 aus auspices auspice, whatever that word is. I will avenge those who died as slaves. I will I will raise their their tormentors as my undead visuals vassals. And they will serve me forever in death. Uh, one 
what this guy said. Yeah, he said nothing. I don't even have a staining stone, do I? These are vampires. Vampires. See, I want to see what kind of armor this person has. That's the thing. The ritual needs fresh blood. Let's get the F out of here.
What is this? The fuck is this? This is it's very interesting. You know, I might as well take a group and just do this dungeon because. <laughs> yeah. Because I don't understand why there's a book in this dungeon. This book, anyways. Is this the only book called the First Seed Report, right? Is this, is this the only book in um, called the First Seed Report? Hold on, very curious. Freedom's Prize. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> Like the only book that's called the first seed report. You're strange. Why did they put it in a dungeon though? I mean, I. What am I saying? And in dungeons. is cast into darkness, but the animus returns. Oh, my first one. <laughs>
Arrow Stroll. Go away. Go away, fucker. Supposedly there's um They say the hists weeps with happiness when an Argonian Supposedly there's uh, like a woman or somebody here my dark elf think. Upset that Gives you like a little like oh yeah by the way uh just stay true to our laws and you'll be fine kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? I saw strange lights coming from ten I thought it was just as usual. Stay away. Oh, she's in. I, 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 I think I know who she. I could never. Never mind. Mind. You're a new face in Stormhold. As Vice Canon tasked with today's duties of audience, it is my solemn duty to warn you of the killer loose in our fine city. Be on your way, travel in pairs, etc. Not this send me to look into the Did he? Did she? What? <laughs> Did he mention the finder's fee he receives for sending you into the swamp? Of course not. Since he didn't, I'll provide you with his fee directly. Hand it to him the next time you see him, or use it for a pair of watertight boots. Three murders and Stormholt's about to boil over like my father's fish kettle. The Dark Elves blame the Argonians they owned before the pact outlawed slavery. I miss the days of kicking arse. Now I'm expected to kiss them. <laughs> Any leads on the culprits? That's not a question I've heard from a stranger. Fancy yourself a bloodhound, do you? I'd never doubt Stormhold's guards in a siege, but we've seen no progress with these murders. We'll gladly pay a bounty if you find the killer. Where would I start? Here's a list of the victims' families. Find out what they know about their murdered kin. I'm almost glad the guard never got around to it. As my son says, mammoths can't dance. Consider it done. You'll likely find Dendris Indolor at home. Get his home of our works at the smithy. As for Tyrell Alor, try the Mage's Guild. Hold your nose when talking to that one. Why didn't the guard question them? A while back, Argonians and Stormhold were slaves to the local Dark Elves. The two other Vice Cannons work to mend the bad blood, but it's slow to get anything done when nobody trusts the guard. And why would the keep... just keep the guard from doing their jobs? Recently, some Argonians went missing. We had a nasty rumor about dark elf slavers in the city. False, of course. Then the bodies showed up. All dark elves. The new rumor says Shudder Scales are targeting Dunmer. Nearly started a riot. And who are the Shadow Scales? I mean, you don't know who the Shadow Scales are. They're a pain in the fundament. An armed group of Argonians lurking in the swamps, killing enemies of their people. If you want to twist the dark elf's ears anymore, you may as well burn an effigy of Almalexia. Okay. Your timing is impeccable.
I know all the lore now. <laughs> On my way. Give me all that lore. On your way, stranger. I have no patience for small talk. I'm here about the murders. About time the vice cannons do their jobs. Ireland's body lies captive in the mortuary. I can't even see him, let alone bury him. Why all these ridiculous delays? Dumark, take this accursed town. Who would want to, to har harm Ar Arlen? Shadow Scales, who else? He spoke out against the Argonians, and rightly so. He was targeted for having the courage to say what we all think about them. I'm no bigot, but if you ask me, the world would be a better place without those scaly fetchers. I mean, truth be told, they did, they they did take take them as slaves first. So, food for thought. Excuse my silence. I mean, to be fair, the Argonians were just minding their own business, and then the Dark Elves saves. Like, oh yeah, by the way, you know, these guys need to be civilized. So we'll take them as slaves. You'd think the gods would have found something so, by now. Of course I don't keep him tight. You expect so I of course I don't blame, you know. I wouldn't blame the Argonians if they decided to do 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 this, but you know I've played this so many times. Sorry, it's like, yeah, they you. didn't do this. Sane's running the shop while I mourn my brother. I'm investigating the murders. Finally, looking into my brother's death, eh? I get it. I'm sure you and your vice cannon pals had better things to do than your jobs. Naldin wasn't the brightest star in the sky, but he didn't deserve this. Who would want to cause him harm? Most of Stormhold. Naldin ran up a lot of debts. He also picked a lot of fights with the lizard skins. If the shadow scales didn't get him, it's because someone else moved faster. Okay. Honestly, the shadow scales don't work like this, so. But I get why they're upset. I recently lost my wife, and I'm sorry. Can I help you? Could you tell me about your wife? Eroni and I always believed in the pact. We came here to build a better life with Argonians and Nords alike. Some of my people blame the Shadow Scales. But what would they gain from her death? We treat everyone the same. It makes no sense. Vascan and Herondra asked me to look into their death, into her death. Thank the gods. She's in the mortuary, which they keep locked. But Eroni made those locks, so I have the master key. Here, take it, please. Find out who did this. Don't allow her to become a symbol against the pact. Yeah. never know when there's like that <laughs> you never know when there's a, a skill book around I we're just lying here Rony's body is clothed in charred 
Initial suggestion the subject died from heat and in flames, but the burns do not extend beyond the surface of the skin. Whatever caused these burns was no natural flame. The subject bears a wound in her chest. A clean, precise cut. On consolation, this com combination of wounds is unknown to the local mages guild. Subject died from a single stab wound to the heart. The strike is clean and precise. There are no visible signs of a struggle. I noticed a small and separate cut near near the mortal wound. I estimate this cut was made after the subject's death. Good to know. Subject died from a precise cut to the throat. The cut runs just deep enough to to sever a vein and, uh, and vocal cords. The, the body shows no sign of a struggle. A small precise cut upon the chest was made after the subject's death. You there, please, I have an urgent message. Get this Omabar sent me. It's about his wife, Ironi. Is something wrong? Get this saw Ironi alive. He watched her enter their home on the other side of Stormhold. He asked you to meet him there as soon as you can. I'll meet him there. Ooh, the plot thickens. Thickens. They say you can actually go talk to the Dunmer gods. Given the way the Dunmer treated us, do you think that also means you could punch them? <laughs> Avage. I saw strange lights coming from the I mean... I don't know, man. Uh, savage. with Vec. Halva found you. Whatever's in my home, it isn't my wife. What happened? Ironi. My Ironi. She's gone. I know that. But when I saw her enter our home, I had to find out how she'd returned. That's when she stabbed me. If that Argonian hadn't let between us, she'd have finished me off. Argonian? What Argonian? I don't know. But he tried to save my life. They were still fighting when I crawled out the door. They both moved so fast. Please, help him remove that imposter from my home. Don't worry about me. I'll soon see my true Ironi. I'll do what I can. In we go. <laughs> <laughs> The Ogronian's body is to warm. It's covered in numerous cuts and scorch marks. Entry 441. Three dark elves killed in Stormhold. Rumors call call it our work. Preposterous. The Night Mother get, get, gifted, gifted none of the, them with our, with our call. I'll return to, to the Enclave when I discover who's behind this. Entry 442. Just watching Ironi or oh, oh, Omabar enter her home. This isn't right. Her body remains in that the mortuary. I'm going to see see what this creature wants and why it wears a Roma Roni Omabar's face. Oh, well, this doesn't count as stealing. That's no fun. Oh 
one at all. Lock your doors tonight. They found another one. Vice Canon Rondar is indisposed. He informed me you've been assisting us in our recent troubles. Are you any closer to discovering the killer? From what I found, someone is framing the shadow scales for the murders. Then we can concentrate our efforts elsewhere. Many will blame the shadow scales regardless, but our concerns are greater now than scapegoats. I fear the true culprit struck again, though I pray I'm incorrect. When I said Vice Canon Rondar was indisposed, I spoke half the truth. He's missing, and I fear it's the work of our killer. This is why Vice Canon Servina and I request your utmost discretion in recovering Vice Canon Rondar to us. What can I do? Listens to water as one of our little fish, our eyes and ears. He signals when he possesses urgent information for the Vice Canons. A short while ago, we received his signal. Be swift and silent as currents in a stream. Speak with listens to water on our behalf. Where can I find him? Look for the mud huts. Don't ask for him by name, or he'll think you a debt collector. Remain discreet. If listens to water found the scent of Vice Canon Rondar, follow it until its end. I'll see what he knows. On that note, the guards would have found something by now. You expect them to do their jobs? Ha! Try not to throw the sword when you lunge. Makes it too easy if you disarm yourself. Yes, I am new to sword play. But I've known the fine edge of blades since I was hatched. Shall I show you my wares? Sure. Damage 300. Holy hell. No, no, that's a, that's crap. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's crap. Insert. Item. What, what is a companion item? I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely curious now. I'm genuinely curious now. I've never heard of a companion item. What is a companion item? An ESO. Okay. Thought him okay. That's what it is. Okay. <laughs> if I had a companion, I would give this to them. But I don't. So it's completely useless. But on that note. Fall on your face if you strike like that. On that note. I will uh, end the episode here. Um, yeah, 
Um, so yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this episode, guys. Um, it was a lot shorter and everything, but, uh, yeah. Um, anyways, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Um, make sure to do all the YouTube stuff. Likes, you know, whatever, you know, likes and, you know, comments and stuff like that. And of course it crashed. I'm, you know what? I'm going to end the episode there. I'm going to end the episode there. Um, um, I think that's a perfect way to end the episode. Not really. Um, but, uh, yeah. So I'm just going to submit that. I'm going to quit it. <laughs> Anyways, hope you all enjoyed this episode, guys. Um, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.